We are currently at the Embassy of Italy in Colombo celebrating the beginning of the most glamorous three-day event, CFW Summer 2022. And this evening I'll be talking to Sri Lanka's well-known personalities who live, who live and breathe fashion, of course, about their take on the upcoming CFW event. Hello and good evening. My name is Shanukanish Fernando. Let's see what this evening has in store for us. Joining me right now is an individual who needs no special introduction because without him, none of this could be a possibility. Joining me right now, joining me right now is RJ Avir Singh. How are you doing this evening? Very well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so let me tell you something first. It's a pleasure to be with someone who came up with CFW in the first place. I can't emphasize on that enough, I would say. So I got to ask you, 19 consecutive CFWs, that could be a major accomplishment, right? Well, it's 19 years since inception, but more CFWs than that because in some years we've done two. Okay. So, so it could be even more. So My bad. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> so, with that said, what makes this CFW so special regarding the theme, you know, all nature, love, friendly and wilderness, everything like that? What sets about this CFW from the rest? Well, uh, CFW started its journey on uh, ethical fashion in 2012. In 2017, we started going really more intense into uh, environmental uh, well-being and impact that fashion has, right? So this year, we up the game a bit because you know we realize now we're used to the new normal so we created this amazing uh, collaboration with wildlife uh, nature protection uh, with uh, unfpa so we have something called a responsible meter that kind of uh, looks after or gauges uh, environmental impact and societal impact uh, impact on designers supply chains so so we, we're getting consumers aware of that now so when when you get the consumers aware of uh, of this nature so uh, so we're taking the step up where we're getting experts to come in right so like wnps and uh, unfpa then they help build the whole ecosystem where designers know how to go sustainable consumers know what the impact that they are having in the clothes they purchase, you know. So it's a, so it's a complete ecosystem that we're building, and I'm I'm quite excited that there's a 19th year. We're looking at 20 in you know next year, and it'll be probably a, like a next 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 level pretty much. So so the the impact of this one is we have uh, intensified our whole journey into sustainable uh, industry ecosystem fashion, uh, you know, a fashion week of that nature. So I got to ask you, I know we are not at CFW yet, but I would say you're a man of fashion because that's why you came up with CFW in the first place. So tell us, what are you wearing tonight? Well, uh, this is this is uh, purely what I have designed. So, <laughs> so, 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 yes, it's, it's my suit is like, yeah. So there's, there's, no, there's no fashion label, I would say. Probably the shoes are, and the, probably the tie is, but yeah. So Italian shoe, the Italian place. <laughs> from the creator himself, right? Yeah. <laughs> so with that said, I would, I, I, this could be like a bit of unorthodox, but could be a question that's worth repeating, right? Mm -hmm. In this CFW, what are you most excited for? What are you expecting? Well, you know, um, a lot of things, you know, every CFW has its own excitement because we, every time we, we cross a certain milestone, take a certain step forward, we plan everything very strategically years in advance. So when we get there, we're like very excited. We say, okay, now, so this year what's happening is uh, this responsible meter is really an important tool because one of its kind in the world. So we're trying to roll it out more. And then there's the emerging design of fund created by HSBC to look after the younger, or not look after, assist five young designers to go up. Then uh, we have this award, th that's why we are here, uh, that will recognize one young designer uh, and there will be a financial assistant and a scholarship to study fashion in Milan. Right? So all these are really exciting news for the industry. And we are, we are all about the industry. We have led the industry for 19 years, given it form and shape in a nice way. So, so yeah, so I'm excited about this, all this thing that's happening this year. You know. Correct me if I'm wrong, is this, the, is this the first CFW where they're collaborating with Italy? 
Uh, with Italy on this award first, but we had done before where we had designers from Italy come and show here. Um, they've, that they happened like three or four times before. Wonderful, RJ. It's a pleasure to have you on board and have a good evening as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Joining me right now is also one of the sole creators of CFW, Welcome for Zena. How are you doing this evening? Very well, thank you. I've got to say, you look miraculously beautiful today as well. So, i got to ask you, now CFW I've been talking about, we all know what CFW is, right? All about the fashion, people get together, see beauty with fashion and everything like that. But there's a new program in CFW called the CFW Accelerate. What's it all about? Well, CFW Accelerate is actually part of a design development system. It's been in existence for over 19 years, but not really under the term CFW Accelerate. So obviously we've had a, um, a progressive um, development program. So we've been changing season on season, year on year, and now uh, we can call it a well-oiled machine. So this is where 90% of Sri Lankan designers are a product of this program. Um, you know, they're trained under design development, retail, fashion, entrepreneurship, uh, and a whole upskilling to be part of the industry. So the Accelerate now has come, uh, you know, it's a multi-pronged system that provides well-structured funding and mentorship. And we hope to develop it further in the future by adding fashion innovation, crafts, um, training under responsible fashion, all of that. So yeah, it's, it's a huge program. It's an umbrella of diverse areas. Um, and it's, it's a beautiful space for anyone who needs to enter the industry. You've got everything going on for them. So all they need is the passion and wanting to see through. Right, so this CFW is like like no other, right? You've been in several consecutive CFWs over the years. This sets up because of the theme as well being more environment friendly, more wildlife friendly. What's your take on that? Well, um, it, the the whole idea of being uh, environmentally conscious, green conscious in that sense, that's the theme of the season. Uh, it's something we've always worked on. It's one of the impacts uh, in the responsible meter. It's a garment evaluation tool that we put together in the past two years. So how does it evaluate a designer or, or the functions of their supply chain or, and what they do, right? So if you don't have the balance with uh, societal well-being and environmental well-being, how does that impact your fashion um, ecosystem altogether? So we've brought in environment as a focus this season. Uh, we've done different things the other season. It's one of our pillars. So yes, conserving the environment, nature and protecting it while we create this ecosystem is, is crucial. And that's what uh, we're celebrating the environment this season. Wonderful, Fuzzy. I know we are not at CFW yet. We are just a week away from Thursday, right? But uh, mind if I ask you what you're wearing tonight? <laughs> I'm wearing an outfit from Charini. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Fuzzy, now once again for joining me. Once again, it's a pleasure. Joining me right now is the ambassador from Italy to Sri Lanka, Her Excellency Rita Manella. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank you. So, my first question for you is, uh, what's your opinion how so this is the first time Italy is collaborating with CFW? And this is the first time ever, I suppose. And what, what's your take on that? This is an idea that uh, uh, I, I got since when I arrived in, uh, in 2000, at the end of 2018-2019 uh, and then we, we wanted to start this collaboration but then <laughs> there were too many things happening so it was postponed uh, not for our reason but because of the situation we were not uh, allowed to organize events in presence for, for a while. So this is the first time we are uh, we're going to do. I think uh, 
collaboration between Italy and uh, Sri Lanka in fashion is uh, very important because uh, Italy is uh, a great partner of uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, we are of the, one of the main importers of uh, Sri Lankan products. Actually, we are the fifth importer of Sri Lankan products and mainly for uh, the apparel side. So we thought that uh, collaboration to increase even more uh, this, uh, 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 this trade uh, would, be, uh, uh, would be a very good idea. So we decided to um, encourage uh, emerging designers um, with an award, uh, with uh, some scholarships, uh, in a way that uh, this uh, strong uh, collaboration could be even more sealed. So, what's your take on the new theme, wildlife friendly and environmental friendly? When it comes to Sri Lanka, as well as Italy as well, environmental is a big deal. So, what's your take on that? This is something that everybody should be aware uh, And uh, actually, I think uh, one of the reasons why investors are coming to Sri Lanka more than other countries I mean I'm talking Italian investors it is because here uh, some rules are more respected uh, than in other places uh, there is a more awareness about um, uh, the environment uh, human rights uh, or uh, respect of people of course, everything can be improved, and uh, this is a field where uh, uh, everybody has to learn. But this country is uh, on, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, one of the one of the uh, one of the country we believe that we we can work much better, uh, and it's very sensitive to this. Uh, themes to these issues. So here's a question that you might have been asked a lot recently. So what do you really look forward to in CFW this this season, this event, CFW Summer 22? What are you looking most forward to? We love ideas. Uh, we Italy loves creativity. We love ideas. We believe that uh, uh, every creative people should be encouraged and uh, we believe that uh, in this country there are a lot of ideas there is a lot of potential that should be developed uh, and there are uh, uh, things that can be done um, and I really believe that uh, exchanging views can help in uh, improving the creativity of this country it's very important to exchange views because if I live only in my little, you know, uh, small village, I don't exchange, I don't get uh, ideas for how to improve my, uh, my creativity. But if you open and if you get either people idea, exchange views, then you can uh, uh, do something different. So we would like to contribute in a small way to this process of uh, unlashing uh, the creativity. Thank you so much once again ma'am, it's a pleasure to meeting you. Hope you have a wonderful evening as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Joining me right now is Arjun. How are you doing this evening? Hi, very good, thank you. So, CFW Summer 22, what are your thoughts and the new about the new theme about uh, wilderness awareness with nature and everything like that? And what sets apart this CFW from all the rest you've been in? Yeah, they all, they all, each year they have a different theme which they uh, look into. A few years ago it was sustainability and this year it's the environment. Uh, and the wilderness, which is something really important, especially in Sri Lanka, which is uh, which has a high biodiversity, and uh, not many people are actually quite educated about it or really know who venture outside their house or.
to various parts of Sri Lanka and see how beautiful it is and the various different animals, the flora and the fauna. Um, and it's very important that we kind of protect it and uh, Kalam Fashion Week would be a great outlet to put that message across to various different uh, you know, people in Sri Lanka. Wonderful. And I know you're not at CFW yet, but yeah. may I ask you, what is your style right now? Since you're a huge fan, who I mean, you, you're a person, you're a model yeah. who lives and breeds fashion, right? So uh, Well, <laughs> uh, today I'm wearing uh, Fausal Hamid for Hamidias, who does NY, uh, their line. So it's like a double breast suit, uh, white trousers and sneakers. It's kind of a more casual kind of look where you can wear a suit top and also something a bit more casual inside. So it's, um, yeah, I like it. All right, so this might be a question worth repeating. Yeah. What are you, like, uh, I would say, what are you most excited for CFW this time? Uh, it's always like various different designers, local talent, and also what I really look forward to is day one where emerging Sri Lankan designers can show, showcase their wares. So people who have just graduated from university, people are coming through the ranks. So that's always a, a really exciting part of the show to showcase new Sri Lankan talent. Wonderful Arjun, thank you for joining me. Thank you so much by the way and good luck on CFW. Joining me right now is the gorgeous Shasini. How are you doing tonight? Good, thank you. How are you? So I know this doesn't come as a surprise at all. This has been like your like uh, multiple CFWs in a row and you used to slate all the time, Aww. without a doubt. <laughs> thank you so but much. what set apart this CFW from the rest you've been in? Um, well, all these new events and stuff are very exciting. I think it's the first time that we're having this kind of setting. So it's very nice to be able to, you know, really show the designs and talk about the designers and be more involved with the actual event because most of the times we're like behind the scenes and then you see us on the day, right? So it's nice to be a part of like this type of event as well. And I guess what sets apart this CFW, CFW from the rest is the theme as well, right? This time with builderness and environment friendly. Yes, what are your thoughts on that? Um, I love it. I mean, CFW does an incredible job about being sustainable and highlights how important it is. And with how the world is right now, um, I think that we're setting a really great example because I don't, th I don't think there's any fashion week out there that even does this. So I'm very proud to be a part of it and I think that it's something really great for us to all stand together and, you know, show how passionate we are about the cause. Wonderful. And I know that we are not at the event yet, but may I ask you what you're wearing? Oh, this is Dimutu Sahabandhu. And yeah, you'll be seeing some of the newer designs at Colombo Fashion Week this year. I feel absolutely amazing, like a 1920s, like glamour kind of look. So. Yeah, you have a lot more to come. <laughs> you look absolutely miraculous either thank way. You, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, much for joining me, and thank I can't wait to see you in the ramp as oh, well. Thank you. Joining me right now is the icon herself, Ramani Fernand. How are you doing this evening? I'm good, thank you. And you? Doing well. It's a pleasure to have you right here. And you know, you've been in multiple CFWs. It's like a 19th consecutive one. And what sets apart this CFW from all the rest? Well, mm, it's all about sustainability, right? And there's so many joining regarding that, who appreciates that, whose, uh, you know, sustainability is like the thing now right so uh, so happy to see so many on board you know if you were at the press conference there were so many on board and all most of them you know connected with sustainability who appreciates and who I mean um, it's it's the thing now no like we have to all sustain I mean sustainability is so important wonderful and this year's theme wilderness and wildlife natural being friendly what's your take on that 
I think uh, it's a wonderful theme. Uh, so it's all about you know protecting the wildlife, protecting the forest, isn't it? So it's it's out there now, and uh, it's a way of people absorbing it. Like it's how important it is, and it's not only. I mean, um, even where my salons are concerned, we are very very conscious of it now. This is what you know. I always talk to the staff about it. You know, even even like saving water, electricity, all that, you know. So this sort of theme, I think it hits you. Like it's all the time, it's a awareness of it, you know. I've got to ask you, I know we are not at CFW yet, but, uh, but I, I want to know what you're wearing right now, this evening. I'm wearing uh, Radhisi. Uh, yes, it's Radhisi. <laughs> Wonderful. And I got to ask you, this might be a question that been, might have been asked from you multiple times and in previous AFWs as well. What are you most looking forward to in this event? Well, um, uh, there are some fantastic designers, right? And also we're having some from overseas this time. So um, Indians and I think Bangladesh. I'm not very sure of that. Okay. Anyway, uh, so it's it's interesting. After two years, we are getting some uh, international like foreign designers, and it is always adds to the show. And also our top designers are there, and every time you know they uh, kind of um, you know wow you with what uh, what they are showing. So. I think it will be a very interesting three days and I always appreciate the up and coming, you know, the, the new generation of, uh, um, of designers who showcase the first day. Uh, I think they come out like, you know, uh, really well. So you can expect something very good on that day as well. And yeah, so much to see too, you know, and it's also like, um, you know, something like this happening uh, in our industry, not only our industry, right? I mean. Uh, to our country, right? I mean, uh, in these challenging times, and uh, I have to thank Ajay and Fazina who put this all together. I mean, it's it does um, keeps the industry alive, right? So we had to really appreciate that, and we are already getting ready with the hair and makeup looks, and yeah. Wonderful, Ramani. Have a good evening. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure.